guys, it's Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel if you are brand new. Really appreciate you all stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and on my Etsy shop, Anchor Life 5. And I saw a really cool video this morning from Love Meg here on YouTube and she did a homemaker tag. And so I thought it would be fun. Um, I'll link her video down below. And then at the end of this video, I do have a couple people that I would like to tag also um, to keep this going on. Now, some of the questions I will have to alter because, or talk about past, because right now I currently work outside the home. Um, but for many, many years, I did strictly stay at home with my kids. So I will be talking about past and present. So the first question is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative about you staying or working from home? So as I just mentioned, I do currently work outside the home, but I did um, stay at home for many, many years when my kids were small. It was a decision that best fit our family at the time. Uh, my husband was active duty in the Navy and it just was the best decision for us. Um, a lot of people that I, I hung around at the time were also stay-at-home parents full-time. Um, but there were some people that did negatively respond to it, um, you know, saying, hey, you know, you could better provide for your family if you went to work. But for us, it was important for me to be at home and, and raise our children, and so that was the decision that we made. Question two. What is your favorite or least favorite part of staying at home or working from home? When I did stay at home, my favorite part was, of course, being with my kids all day long. Um, it was a decision that I do not regret one second of. It was the best years of my life and hopefully theirs. Um, and I just loved everything about it. The thing that I did not like about it was the social interaction with adults. Sometimes it got, um, yeah, it got hard <laughs> at times to be at home with just me and them. Um, but like I said, I, I wouldn't change a thing about it. Um, number three, what is your favorite chore and your least favorite? Oh my God. Well, I have so many least favorite chores. <laughs> um, probably my least favorite chore of all times is grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping with a passion. I hate going to the store. I hate shopping. I hate putting it away. I hate all of that. Um, probably my favorite chore, I don't know if you'd really call it a chore, but DIY projects for sure. I love decorating. I love making my home. Um, a statement about me and my family um, yeah so those are probably I don't know like I said it's really a chore but that's my favorite part um, number four what time do you wake up and what time do you go to bed um, I I wake up probably about 6 30 6 45 every morning um, I have to be at work at 8 30 and I usually go to bed I am not a night not a night person. I used to go to bed like 9 30, 10 o'clock at the latest. Um, I'm definitely one of those people that need a full night's sleep to function. Um, number five, do you put anything in the background? Do you have anything on in the background while you clean, do housework, and cook? Um, the TV is always on. The TV is always on in our house. TV, music, um, we have two dogs, a cat, two fish tanks, and three birds, and so there's there's constant noise at all the time. All time, if it was quiet, I don't know what I would do with myself. So yes, um, there is always something on in the background when I am doing anything. Um, six. Do you get dressed most days or stay in your pajamas Monday through Friday? Obviously, I have to get up and get dressed, but I do tell you. The second I get home, yeah, I am in my pajamas. If I am not going anywhere, um, I am in my pajamas for the rest of the night. On the weekends, if I'm not going anywhere, yeah, I, I, I love my pajamas. I will put on my pajamas, I will put on sweats, um, take a shower, and I will put on a clean pair of pajamas or sweats, and I am my most comfortable for sure. Um, seven, how often do you do your hair and makeup? Monday through Friday, of course. 
I do my hair and makeup. Some days on Fridays, though, I, I go to work with, with no makeup on besides um, my foundation and powder just because it's Friday and, hey, on the weekends, if I'm not going anywhere, nothing. I, I, I don't do a whole lot of makeup. This is what my hair looks like most days. And um, if I do go out somewhere like to eat or something like that I will do a little bit of makeup on the weekends but if we're just you know running some quick errands nope all natural all the time um, number eight what is your trouble zone or area in your home that needs the most help hmm I would probably say my craft room you can see around you it is a constant um, we'll say it's a work in progress. I do, my crafting relaxes me. It um, kind of puts me in a zone. So there's always stuff out because I am constantly working on something. Nine, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? Um, not very often. I feel like I'm pretty focused. If I start on something, I like to finish it and get it done. Um, yeah, so so not often, no. Uh, 10, do you enjoy staying at home or do you miss having a job? Um, I love my job right now. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like I said, my kids are older. I have one in college, two in high school. Um, I don't need to be home with them during the day because they're not at home. Um, when I did stay home with them, wouldn't have traded it for anything. I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else but at home with them. Um, 11, what is your never ending chore? Price sweeping. Sweeping is, is horrible. We have hardwood floors downstairs. And like I said, we have animals and dirt and just sweeping, sweeping. I hate to sweep. My kids hate to sweep. My husband hates to sweep. Everybody hates to sweep, but it has to be done all the time. Um, uh, yeah, really looking into some carpet. Mm. Vacuum is a whole lot easier. Number 12, what is your favorite way to relax or have me time? Um, crafting. Crafting helps me relax. I like to come up in my room, shut the door, peace and quiet. Um, and I love to take a bath. I love to light my candles on my jacuzzi tub and put in some Dr. Teal's Epsom salts. And I actually like watch YouTube. <laughs> but that is... Um, my favorite me time for sure. 13. What does your husband or significant other do to help it to help chip in? My husband is amazing. Um, he also works full time and he travels a lot. Um, he does everything on the outside of the house. He does everything on the inside of the house. He is very handy. He's very hands on. He is, um, you know, he's, he's good at putting things together. He's good at fixing things. He is a very OCD, neat type of person. So when he cleans, he cleans. Me, when I clean, I pick up. So he is, he's wonderful about all of that. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, 14. Um, oh, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> um... Oh, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? I got it lucky right now. Um, one of my children is outside the home. The other two, 14 and 16, they have chores. They do chores. We all do chores. We all chip in and, and get it done. They have a chore chart still to this day, and they know it needs to be done, and they do it. So simple, easy. Um, 15, how do you balance being a homemaker and doing YouTube content. Um, YouTube right now definitely takes a back seat to everything. YouTube is something that I do to express myself, to share my creativity with others. Um, I just started this summer and I love every minute of it. I love the friends that I've made here on YouTube. I love um, sharing a little bit of me with all of you, but definitely my home um, my children, my husband, and my job come first before YouTube. Um, that's just how it is. Um, 16, what is your favorite room in your house and why? 
Um, definitely the den. I call it a den. My husband calls it a living room. Same thing. When I was growing up, the living room, um, I grew up in the south. The living room was the place in the front of your house where nobody sat. You only went there on the holidays. Um, so my den, for sure, that's where everybody gathers. That's where we sit and watch TV. That's where we eat. That's where we we do everything. My den, for sure. Um, 17, what is your least favorite room and why? Uh, probably my husband's office. Um, and just because it is full of, of everything. Um, he loves collecting. He loves knickknacks. He loves anything to do with the military, with the Navy. And it is everywhere. It, it, it's, it's everywhere. He loves gadgets. He loves... Um, yeah, it's all organized and it's clean, but it is, it's his space and I stay out of it. Not that it, I don't like it, it's just, it's his space, so we'll leave it at that. Um, 18, do you feel like your home reflects your personal style, why or why not? Yes, for sure. Uh, my husband and I, as I mentioned before, he was in the military for 20 years and we always lived in apartments or we lived in base housing. Um, never had our own home until he retired. Oh my God, it's almost been five years now, and we purchased this house, and it is our it is our baby. Um, everything in it is 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 our style. We have very similar styles. We've picked everything out together. Um, we love browns and blues and greens and very earth tone. Um, we've always had a thing about huge oversized furniture. Um, but yeah, it, it totally reflects us. We are not, um, I don't know how, how to describe it, but we're very like down to earth, um, people. And I think that our home fits that. Um, I would say it's very casual. It's very comfy and that's us. Um, 19, what does your home usually smell like? Hold on. And I, I, I got this out. This is my favorite candle ever. Um, it's from Walmart. So much better than a Yankee candle. So much better than a Bath and Body Works candle. It is this hazelnut cream candle from Walmart. And it smells delicious. It will smell your entire house with this wonderful aroma. And I highly recommend it. I have them burning all the time, everywhere. And I love it. Hazelnut cream, Walmart go get you some. Light a candle downstairs. You can smell it upstairs all day long. I can smell it right now and it's not even lit. Love this candle. This is what my house always smells like. Last one, number 20. What is your strong point or weak spot when it comes to homemaking? Um, my strong point, I would definitely just say being a mom. I know that's not really homemaking, but for me it is. Um, I've always wanted to be a mom. That's all I ever wanted to do. I was blessed with three amazing, um, children and I couldn't have, I mean, oh my God, I just hit the jackpot with them for sure. But, um, they are my life, my love, my everything. Um, yeah, being a mom for sure. And DIY decorating, I think I'm pretty good at it. Toot my own horn, I guess. Um... Oh my goodness, my my weak spot. Oh, I guess cleaning compared to my husband, he is a clean freak and I am just a pick up it looks presentable type of type of person. Um so yeah, I guess that would have to be my weak spot. So this was the the homemaker tag and um, I hope you had fun learning a little bit about me and I do want to tag let's see Priscilla Moss from Fathering Autism and I'll put that link down below oh my god amazing 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 channel love the whole family love everything that they stand for they are amazing and Priscilla mwah, 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 you are a um, role model somebody I look up to, you're amazing. So Priscilla Moss, father in autism. Um, let's do Sandra from Sandra Halls. Put her link down below. Monica, Madcrafter. Oh, love you, Monica. 
and Danny from My Butterflies Boutique. So, and I'll put all those links down below. So thanks guys, thanks for joining me and I'd love to hear more about you and all of your homemaking. Till next time, bye guys.